Hello friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and today we'll be doing some gaming tests on the Lay TV Lee Max. We'll be running games, doing benchmarks and also have a look at the temperature reading of the devices before and after playing the games. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and see to it. Before we take up the gaming and the benchmarks, let's quickly take up the device configuration. The Lee Max is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 64-bit octa-core processor which is clocked at 2 GHz. It has a 4 GB of RAM and the GPU use is Adreno 430. The silver version has 64 GB of internal storage while the gold has 128 GB. The screen size is around 6.33 inch with a 2K display and the maximum resolution is 2560 to 1440 pixels. The rear camera is 21 megapixels while the front shooter is 4 ultra pixel and to power that all up the device has a battery of 3400 mAh. Now taking up the temperature reading uh, before we start gaming. So here at the back we have around 29 degrees Celsius as an average reading and uh, the front panel is around 28 degrees Celsius. So after that let's take up gaming one by one. So the very first game that we'll be playing on the Lee Max is Survey Surfer and from the configuration, the device configuration, uh, this game is kind of an understatement. I mean uh, there are no lags whatsoever and with an octa-core processor of 2 GHz and an Adreno 430 with a 4 GB of RAM, I, I, I'm pretty sure, I mean it can take most of the high-end configuration games. So yes, Survey Surfer is as smooth as you can get. Now the next game that we all love to play it's Asphalt 8 and it, it's kind of a benchmark game that we all have for any device that is out in the market and uh, the game is superb and I mean the 2K display with a 6.33 inch uh, screen size it, it's, it's meant for gaming that's what I can feel and there was no lags uh, whatsoever while playing Asphalt 8. And even though with so many snowflakes, it, it, it was the Christmas time that I started uh, playing the game. So with so many snowflakes and all and on the highest graphics possible, it was a smooth experience on the Asphalt 8. Now the next game uh, is the Brother in Arms and uh, this is a shooting game uh, with a lot of blood and violence in it. And uh, this was also a pretty smooth gameplay and as I already mentioned, the last screen of the device really helps to get those perfect controls and those per those perfect uh, shots while playing these kind of games. Speaking about the lags, as you can clearly see uh, for yourself, there are no lags whatsoever. But yes, I did. I mean, the device is starting to get a bit warm, and uh, like I've been playing for let's say around 20 minutes now, but it's it's still not too hot. The volume buttons are getting a bit warm, and you can uh, like hold it and it also depends upon the geographic condition now i'm in bangalore and i'm shooting this uh, video in the month of uh, jan so it, it's quite cold uh, as an uh, the ambient temperature is quite cold but still it, it's it's a it's a nice uh, overall experience now the third game it's the reptile gp2 and uh, as you can see, I'm playing using an uh, accelerometer instead of an on-screen control. You can see uh, the different viewing angles of this phone. Now this uh, particular game has a lot of physics involved in it, uh, but still it was a smooth experience and uh, I, didn't, I didn't get any lags or any frame miss, even though with uh, so many uh, elements to work with. Now the viewing ang angles of the phone is also quite good, I mean uh, in different angles and whatsoever I, I didn't uh, notice any uh, color, distor uh, color distortion and uh, it was a gala experience playing the Riptide GP2.
uh, finally a comeback game and it's the batman uh, arkham origin and uh, there's not uh, too much in this game i mean uh, it's it's a very simple game and i'm playing this game because i quite uh, I, and i don't like the model combat myself and batman i'm i'm a fan of batman as you can say so still uh, it's the fifth game that we are testing and uh, the last screen uh, again makes it easy to play and uh, a 6.33 inch uh, screen is it's quite difficult to carry for a daily use but if you are a gamer and if you are looking for uh, a device that you can game on with the last screen and uh, amazing controls the max is quite suited for that so over and all now i have played uh, the fa the five games for last 30 minutes to 40 minutes you can say and we'll now have a look at the temperature these are the final temperature readings and it's around 36 degrees celsius at the back which is quite good considering it's a snapdragon 810 with an adreno 430 gpu now at the front uh, the temperature reading uh, around 33.9 to 34 degrees celsius and again it's warm but not too hot that you can't play the games on now the final score of nt2 benchmark was around 79075 with no apps running in the background and the 3d the cpu and the ram score were like they were quite good not not on the top of the charts that uh, that i expected for a device of this configuration but still they managed to score a pretty high score on the nt2 the score on geek benchmark is 1328 for single core and 4467 for multi core and it, it's pretty great score for a device and uh, this device on this on the geekbench it's it's score higher than most of the other high end devices that we have on the market so over and all i am quite satisfied with these results and uh, on top of that there was no lags whatsoever while playing any of the games and no major heating issues so friends that was the benchmark scores from the Lay TV Lee Max along with the gaming performance. If you have any doubts, please do ask me in the comment section. If you like the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and the most important part, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do hit the red subscribe button and be a part of our community. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.